Hello, it's Mrs. Green. This lesson is going to be on percent of change. So by way of introduction, I have a couple of graphics here. So sometimes you're looking at an amount and it either goes up, it changes in an upward direction. So there's a little picture, of something going up, or maybe it goes down. Here's one that went down 30%. So sometimes uh, things will have a percent increase and they'll be going up by some calculation that we'll talk about in a minute. And then other times you'll have a decrease. Decrease means it's go gone down. So when you're looking at a change between what it used to be and what it is now, it went down. <clears throat> Sometimes there's a negative sign in front. Um, and both of those, the, the general term for that is change. So the uh, some amount went up or down, it changed. And, and so we want to calculate the percent. And it's another way that people use to compare. Um, it's just, it's a measurement. So that's why it's coming into play when we talk about percent. So let's look at our, so you need to do your prior knowledge. Prior knowledge. I'm just about over my cold, so my voice is getting better, but it's still a little froggy. So then we'll do key information on the next page. All right, the first three pieces of key information key information that I want you to write down is uh, are the definition of percent of change so that our, our main topic is percent of change and it has two pieces increase and decrease but a percent of change shows how much a quantity has either increased or decreased from the original amount you might be able to hear the uh, weed whacker outside I'm in my classroom recording and they are doing lawn maintenance on this rainy day so percent of change shows how much a quantity has increased or decreased from the original amount. And then the two types would be an increase, so a percent increase, so percent increase is when the new amount is greater than the original amount. So you have an original amount, something changed, it went up, it's bigger now, that is considered an increase and the change is a positive number. Then we have the opposite of that, which is a percent decrease. Ooh, it's a little easier to write cursive. And that's when the new amount is less than the original amount. Is less than the original amount. The percent of change is negative, and it's considered a decrease. So write those three down, and then on the next page we'll do a model of how to do this calculation. It's a little bit involved. It's a, a couple of different steps. Um, I'm going to give you two different options on how to process these, these problems. You can choose your method. One is from the blue book and one's from the red book. So um, you can either match up with your textbook or you don't have to if you prefer. I, I tend to prefer the way the blue book presents this information. But um, So if, you're, if you have a red textbook and you like my method better, you can use it. Or um, if you're in the blue textbook and you like the red if it makes more sense to you, if it's more logical, then you can use the other method. I'll give you both. So I'm going to give you two models for calculating percent of change. In model one, we take the new amount, so we'll say new amount, that's the amount after the change, the amount that's currently the quantity, and we're going to subtract the original amount. original amount. So those are two, and this is going to be in the numerator, and then I'm going to have a giant fraction bar because I've got so many words. And so I'm doing a division problem, but on top in the numerator I've got subtraction. So I have to subtract the original amount from the new amount. And the new amount comes first, so do that subtraction, and then you're going to divide by the original because you're always taking a percent of the original amount. Calculating percent of change always um, it's a relationship with the original amount you would never um, you would never have a relationship with the new amount it just doesn't make any sense you're looking at the original amount and you're saying to yourself how much did it go up or down well I can calculate the amount the quantity that it went up or down and that's this top number the, the numerator but now I want to change that into a percent and I have to divide by my original amount and that's going to give me my percent of change. Percent of change. The other way to do that, this is because math is, um, because we've got some options here. There's another 
uh, way to write it. I'll write that second. The second method you can use is you can take your percent of change, and this one might be handy if they've given you um, the percent of change, but they haven't given you either the new amount or the old amount, and you have to find it. So you might want to use both of these depending on your situation. So percent of change, which is I got from over here, is also is equal to my original amount. multiplied by uh, my amount of change. That's an M. Amount of change. Just back up a little bit here. Amount of change. And your amount of change is your quantity that changed. So it's your, it's this part right here. The new amount subtract the old amount. <clears throat> so it's the same, I've written it just two different ways uh, using algebra. Um, you can use either one. Maybe we'll do, we'll probably use both of them depending on our situation. All right, some example problems. All right, example one, a school has 825 students enrolled last year. So that's your original amount, last year. This year, 870 students are enrolled. Find the percent of increase. So you can see that Last year we had 825, this year we have 870, so it went up from last year to this year. So that's going to make it an increase, even though they've specifically said find the increase. Sometimes they don't tell you that, they say find the change. Um, we can tell it's an increase. So I'm going to use the first method, a new amount, subtract original amount. So my new amount, so I'm going to write, I'm just going to write myself a little uh, tip over here. New amount minus original divided by original equals percent. So that's my little reminder. And one of the things I like about this is because it has NO at the top, so that's in alphabetical order. It's also the word NO. I kind of I can remember that pretty easily. And then divide by O, so NO over O is percent. So new amount is 870. Old amount is 825. Old amount is 825. So the place I see students making mistakes is mixing up the old and the new. So maybe um, one other su suggestion I would make in your notes, let's label this. So this is the new amount. And did I get that right? Good. And the old amount is 825. So label that right on your problem. And then you can um, kind of, then your brain isn't so taxed with keeping track of all this. And then that's going to be my percent increase. So if I do the math, I get um, 870 minus 825. My little side work over here. I get 45. So the 45 divided by 825, and this would be a handy place to have a calculator. If you've got a calculator, go ahead and use one. I'm going to do some side work quickly. All right, with my long division, I've discovered that it's a repeating decimal. It's 0 0.054545. So that's going to be 0 0.054544, repeating. <coughs> and in the problem, they wanted you to round it off. I didn't type that in, but we can uh, usually, with the percent, we can probably round it to do two decimal places. Um, so this is... This is my um, decimal. Now I have to convert it to a percent by moving the decimal place two to the right. Oops, I wanted a different color. So I get 5.45%. So it went up 5%. So that's an increase of 5.45%. So example two. So we have example number two. During the summer months, a bear's heart rate is about 60 beats per minute. But um, because of hibernation, it can drop to as low as eight beats per minute during the winter. What is the percent of change in a bear's heart rate from summer to winter? So I've got my type. Let me fix that typo. So we want to figure out the change, um, percent of change. So I'm going to use the n minus o over o method again, equals 
equals my percent change, delta. That triangle means change. So there's my little shortcut cheater notes. And then I'm going to label my new, so his new um, heart. So we're trying to figure out what changed from summer to winter. So his original was whatever his heart rate is in the summer. So that's 60, so that's his original. And then his new amount is his eight heartbeats. So now I can plug the formula in. It's not really a formula, it's a, a model. So eight beats, subtract 60 beats, and then divide by 60, my original. And when I do that math, I'm going to get a negative 52 over 60. And I can do long division to change that to a decimal because it's um, not... 60 is not going to go into 100 very nicely, so it's hard for me to change it into 100 and make a percent out of it. I'm trying to get percent. So I'm going to use long division and change that into a decimal. And when I do that, I'm going to get um, 0.86 repeating. 4 is going to keep going. Here's my little side work. So I get 0.86 six repeating, and let's round it off. Why not? I don't think they told me in the... Uh, the problem doesn't state how they want it presented. They just say a percent. So now I need to change that decimal into a percent by moving the decimal two places to the right. So I get 86.67... Oh, whoops. That's an 8. 0.67 percent. And remember, this is a negative number, so I, I made a mistake here. I should put negative 0.8667. So that's a minus, which indicates a decrease. And let me just reread re my problem and make sure that it makes sense. So we're going from summer 60 to um, winter of 8. It does go down, so it makes sense that it would be a decrease of 86.67%. Sometimes um, you don't need this minus sign in front if you have the word decrease. Um, you can have either the minus sign or the word decrease, I think, to be accurate. Example 3 is an example of how to use a percent increase. So here they've given us a problem with, um, from January to February of one year. Attendance at Joshua Tree National Park in California increased about 19.7%. So they tell us the percent increase. That's different than the other problems we've had. There were 89,928 visitors in January. And then they want us to calculate how many people visited in February. So they haven't told us the new amount. So if I look at my n minus o over o equals percent, I don't have the new amount. Um, so I'm not sure I can use that um, that uh, model. So I'm, first I'm going to do the first thing I'm going to do is figure out the number of visitors that increased. So I know the percent, and I know the original amount. So if I take 19.7 percent of 89,928. I can translate the word of into multiplication, um, change the percent into a decimal, so I get 0.197 multiplied by 89,828. And that's going to give me approximately, I had to round off, so it's approximately 17,715, 16 people. Um, so that's the increase. So I know it went up. They told me it increased right here on the problem. So I know I need to take my original um, January number of visitors and add the increase. So I had 89,928 visitors in January. I know it went up 19%, so that's 17,716 more people in February. And if I add those two together, um, I'll get the total number of visitors in February. And that number is 107,644, but in my problem it asked me to round to the nearest hundred. So that's uh, the hundredths place is right there, and it's a six, then the number right after it's a four. So I'm going to round down to 600. 100,600 is my answer. Three practice problems are... Um, all three have the same instructions. Tell whether the change is an increase or decrease, so it's two parts. That's part one. And then find the percent of change, whether it's an increase or decrease, then you have to calculate the percent and then round to the nearest percent. So number one, 10 rabbits to 16 rabbits. 
Number two, thirty-three thousand three hundred dollars to thirty-one thousand and eighty dollars. And number three, fifty minutes to forty-five minutes. And then remember to do your wrap-up summary.